Jason, yes, you are fashionable, and uh, I can't even hold a candle to you. Well, we've got competing libraries. I think we're both pretty impressive. Uh, these are VHSs, but no, they're books. And <laughs> yeah, nice. First of all, I uh, congratulations on Windfall. Uh, where did you come up with the story for this? It was it was four of us over a Zoom in the heart of uh, COVID, just trying to figure out what the hell we were supposed to do with our time. Uh, this is when everything was properly shut down, and we knew we had this location we could shoot at. So we got on there and put our brains to work, and we um, we literally started with the constraints. We started with the location, and we figured we needed a very small cast and crew, and, and we went from there. I am such a fan of this type of film, and I, as I'm watching Windfall, I'm thinking to myself, boy, this is this is Bogart's Desperate Hours. This This is... Uh, a tip of the hat to those great character study movies about how people fall apart or come together in a crisis. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also the uh, the desperation that comes with claustrophobia and time pressure. And um, you know, it's also, there's a bit of a dog day afternoon influence in, um, it, we were very interested in process. What would happen if you tried to hold someone hostage but had no idea how to do it? Would you even know how to tie their hands? The answer is no, we tried. I tried I tried to tie Jesse up. He got out in about five minutes. So we decided that we would lean into that absurdity. Uh, and, I, and I think it makes the movie interesting. What makes the movie interesting is everybody at one time in this movie is the bad guy. Everybody is has a sympathy moment. It, it is so well defined as far as characters go. Thank you. That was our goal is having everyone be flawed and having everyone. Look, it's very easy to villainize, especially Jesse's character or my character. And instead, you know, Jesse says some really abhorrent things in the movie, but they make sense. They're not my opinion, but I understand what he's saying. And the same thing holds of, I mean, I'm, I'm committing a home invasion. But hopefully by the end, you feel like, oh, I actually kind of get it, you know? Jesse Plemons and and uh, Lily Collins are, are national treasures, international treasures. Yes. Uh, Local treasure. <laughs> uh, it must have been a joy to work with them. Yes, it really was. They're, um, they're both fantastic human beings, you know? That was the real joy of this process is like, it was just a bunch of friends making something together feel really lucky. I think the other character in the story is the house that you've got. Uh, that was in Ojai, am I right? Yeah. yeah. It, was a, it used this vast location and it was still uh, confining. It was just an amazing work by the camera people. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, we had an amazing, amazing um, crew. And, and by the way, everybody was working f for really weird conditions. Like nothing was open yet. So we, we just rented out a whole uh, motel down the road the entire crew stayed there we all showed up every morning shot in this location and went back and siloed ourselves in our little hobbles so it was um it was a weird time and uh, i don't know it was just great to have creativity to lean on but after this movie is is completed and you know it's it's now going to be on netflix those memories are going to be joyful for you for sure every time i watch this movie I am reminded of um, that we were brave and scrappy and kind of did what you're supposed to do. You know, get off. Uh, I almost used a swear word. Um, <laughs> but I learned very early on not to ask for permission to make art. And this is an example of that. I, I really enjoy your eye that you have for character. I, I, I Are you writing more and more? I am, yes. I... Uh, yeah, I write and I, I also have my hand in most things when I'm trying to make something from scratch. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in character and I'm trying to choose projects that are things that I'm thinking about. In our final seconds that we have, what do you think audiences are going to take away from Windfall? I think that the movie is a meditation on um, this fundamental feeling all of us are having that something is not right and uh, three people in a room trying to reckon with that feeling. Not solve it, just express it. God bless you, Jason Siegel, you're, uh, you're amazing. And hey, thanks a lot. Stay well-dressed.
All right, I will. Bye-bye. Bye.